Alright, so basically, this is a 2005 F-150. This is a 4.6 liter engine. And instead of having normal spark plug wires in the ignition system, it's got an ignitionless system that's controlled by the computer. And basically what happens instead of having plug wires, you have these what are called COPS. They're coil-on plugs. And the spark plug rests deep down in underneath there. And what these COPS look like, I'll take this one out of the box and show you. This is what they look like. So you can see it there sitting down in the cylinder. And it's a you know very simple plug that connects onto it. And it sits down the cylinder and this becomes your spark plug wire. But it's also got the coil on it. The computer sends the, the signal to the coil to fire that cylinder when it's the appropriate time for it to fire, and it fires. It's um, a fairly simple system. This truck has 120,000 miles on it. Still got the factory cops in it. I've already replaced cylinder number seven back there. Today I went and it's throwing a check engine light, finally got it checked, and it's saying cylinder number six. So how Ford numbers these cylinders? is on the passenger side you have one two three four and on the driver side five six seven and then eight back there and my code is showing a misfire on cylinder number six which is going to be right here i don't know if you can see where my fingers go in there but that's cylinder number six so basically we have to take off this bolt here this bolt here that holds the cop down in on the spark plug and remove this plug and then we replace this cop and that's it so here we go all right so the first thing I did is I disconnected the battery from the terminal disconnected a positive terminal while I'm doing the job uh, I'm not afraid of getting electrocuted I work with 110 I'll, t I'll even take a, a hit from 110 uh, DC volts I'm not worried about taking a hit from but the, it resets the computer, so that's why I disconnect the battery while I'm doing the job. All right, the next step is the cop. This is cylinder number number seven. This is cylinder number six. As you can see, it's buried in there. Uh, how how these plugs release? is there's a, a nub you push in right there and then the plug just comes off. So I've already disconnected cylinder number six, you just can't see it, that's why I demonstrated it here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take this nut off, this nut right here, that one. But on cylinder six, that's on cylinder seven. You won't be able to see it. I'll try to film it, but I doubt it'll turn out because it's so dark in there. All right, so here we go. I've already sprayed some WD-40 in there. Now we're gonna go get on that cop. Didn't have to take that fuel bar off, that's good. Alright, should be loose enough to get it by hand. The key here is don't drop it. There's the nut, the bolt. Now the cop's ready to come out. And there it is. And you can see 
you know there's some corrosion there you can see here I sprayed WD-40 on it but that's the bad cop so there's the old one next to the new one I also always use a little dielectric grease and plug wires and on the plug there and some on the outside of the boot so basically this thing's ready to go back down now and it goes right back down in there Get our bolt started back again. All right, now I'm bringing my ratchet back on. Appears to be good. And now to plug it back in, there's my plug. There's the plug. The plug goes on until it snaps. So there's the new, I don't know if you can see it, there's the new cop on cylinder number six. I've already replaced cylinder number seven. Now let's reconnect the battery. Let's see if we've corrected the problem. Battery goes back on. And I need to change to an 8 millimeter. And I don't need all that stuff. Bada bing. Start her up. See what we got. Running smooth. Again, no check engine light. So there we have it. We've replaced the coil on plug, which again looks like this. Remember, there's just the one bolt that goes down through there, and the plug that plugs in this port that comes from the computer to tell the ignition when to fire. And that looks like an old spark plug wire. That's basically what it is. It sits down 
in through the uh, the uh, cylinder and actually the intake manifold into the, the center of the combustion chamber on the, on the piston where the spark plug sits. But that's it. I mean, this job took me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and most of that was screwing around with the camera because the battery was dead. But uh, hopefully you're not afraid to tackle this job.